Y'all, thank you for coming. This is a beautiful day in South Carolina. We hope the folks down on the coast are, are seeing the, the ice and the cold uh, retreat some. As you know, it's moving up, moving up the coast from down in Jasper and Beaufort, moving up towards Ori, but uh, things are getting better. And this is a good time to mention the fact that the people that we depend on in these emergencies are, are vital to the future, the safety and prosperity of South Carolina. There's really, there's never enough money to pay our, our, our military, the law enforcement officers, the first responders, those in the Department of, of Natural Resources, the prison guards, all the law enforcement officers, commissioned officers. There probably never will be enough money to pay them what we'd like to pay them for the great service that they do without the, Governor, sir, can't, can't hear? Is this not a PA set? This is good as this going, I'll talk louder. We probably never will have enough money in the in the government, various government systems, the retirement systems to pay these men and women that we treasure so of what they are worth. But um, we value what they do and we appreciate it. And so today we want to encourage those young people who are interested in these services to to look at them, take a good look, because we need strong men and women in these various services and we also want to tell those who are in these services or who are, who are, are planning retirement that is who are in the retire various uh, government retirement systems that we do honor your service and we want you to stay here and we want you to be strong and healthy and help us build South Carolina even into a better place than it is today so what I'm announcing today is in my 19 uh, 2018 19 executive budget. I'll propose and, and also it will pay for a permanent and full retirement income exemptions for the following people. Military veterans, retired first responders, state and federal law enforcement officers, firefighters, peace officers, and that includes those uh, uh, commissioned officers, uh, got prison guards, anyone in these government retirement systems whether they enter them now, they enter them, or they move to South Carolina and are in such a system, they will be have their income tax uh, exempt, state income tax on their what they're receiving from their pensions. This will be about a $22 million tax cut for the men and women who put their lives on the line for us in the first year of its enactment. That includes right now 37,863 retired military veterans who are eligible, and in, this is in South Carolina, and 20,370 law enforcement, firefighters, and first responders who are eligible. This income tax exemption on retirement pay will reaffirm the unwavering commitment of the men and women of South Carolina to these people. We owe them a lifetime of, uh, they have put their lives on the line for us and we owe them many thanks. And we'll never be able to pay them the full value of what they have done. Their sacrifice, uh, the pain they undergo, the pressure that they undergo, it is a great thing for us today to be able to say thank you and to also say that South Carolina loves the women and men in uniform, the military, the law enforcement officers, the firefighters, and the first responders. Uh, that, is, that is our story. And this is, a, this is a, a point that we need to understand in government is that there never will be enough money in the government to do all that we want to do. But one thing that is essential to the future growth, prosperity, and safety of the people of South Carolina is the men and women in uniform in South Carolina. We can't thank them enough. We love them. We're gonna, we want them to stay healthy and strong, and this is a step in that direction. And now I have a number of people who will speak to you as well. First will be Jay Coon, the Lexington County Sheriff, then Jonathan Jones, the State Fire Marshal, then General Bob Livingston, the Adjutant General. Sheriff Coon. Thank you, Governor. What a great place to make this announcement and welcome to Lexington. 
You know, as we gather as leaders across this state and across the country in law enforcement, our concern is recruitment and retention. Everybody talks about that challenge. This initiative is going to put a great tool in our toolbox to be able to recruit good people and keep them in our profession. And we can't say how much we appreciate this initiative. It's going to go a long way in law enforcement. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, this is a, an important day and an important initiative. Um, as uh, Sheriff Coon spoke about recruitment retention, not just to recruit new firefighters to the profession, but to retain those that have dedicated their lives to, to the profession to pass on their knowledge, skills, and abilities to the next generation of firefighters. You know, the, the governor mentioned that, that we could never pay the price that, uh, that, the, va that the value of those uh, firefighters and first responders that you know, oftentimes in the execution of their duties uh, endure perils and some that pay the ultimate sacrifice and put their lives on the line day in and day out for the citizens of South Carolina. So again, I applaud the governor for this initiative and uh, we look forward to working with him for a long time in things to come. Thanks, sir. General. I'm Major General Bob Livingston, the Adjutant General for the State of South Carolina and Governor. I uh, want to thank you for this great initiative. Uh, I, along with uh, all of my interagency partners here, uh, we command troops that do great things for the people of South Carolina and the people of this nation. So, Governor, thank you for recognizing that sacrifice. The other thing, as a citizen of South Carolina, a long-term citizen, I'm excited about the economic prospect of bringing people into South Carolina for retirement. Uh, that second tier, that, that second job, uh, and, and just people coming into our great state to enjoy uh, the people and the culture that we have in this state. So, uh, Governor, thank you for taking care of our people, and also thank you for your leadership in uh, propelling this great state forward. Thank you, General. Also, again, I want to emphasize how much we thank you, all those here who are allowing the people of South Carolina to grow and prosper in safety and security. I should mention that Director of uh, Department of Corrections, Brian Sterling, is out of the state and unable to be with us, but he sends his regards and support as well. And that concludes the press conference. Governor, does this mean that it's just done in exchange for giving folks a pay raise in the budget? Can y'all hear that? Ma'am? Is this proposal done in exchange for giving law enforcement a pay raise in the budget? Does this mean you're not giving a pay raise in the budget? We're, we're, working, we're working as hard as we can to find money to do many of the things that are, that are necessary that we'd like to do, but it's like sleeping in a bed, a, uh, a six-foot bed with a four-foot blanket. There's just not enough money to do all that we want to do. <laughs> Any more? Thank you very much, and thank you all. Right. all. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys.